Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent, this is Tutorial 4, and today we're going to be looking over uh, two different middlewares. Um, the first one is going to be Cookie Parser, and Cookie Parser looks at the headers in between the client and the uh, uh, server transactions and reads those headers and parses out the cookies that are being sent. Um, so that's the first one. It saves uh, saves the cookies in a variable called request.cookies, uh, which requests is uh, stuff we use in Express, and you learned about that last tutorial. Uh, the next one is uh, Express Session, and Express Session allows us to authenticate uh, transactions between the client and the server. Uh, so it basically uh, lets the server know that the client is uh, the same person that they've been talking to and it kind of you know keeps uh, bad people away from watching your connections so uh, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to edit our uh, package.json file and we're gonna bring in our new module so uh, cookie parser and we're just gonna say latest and then express if I can spell session and we're gonna bring in the latest save that then let's go and uh, npm install it'll get all of our uh, needed requirements there now let's go to server.js this is where we're gonna actually start using uh, those um, middlewares so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to bring in uh, those modules, basically import them. Cookie parser equals require cookie parser. And then var session equals require x Express session. So those are actually bringing in the uh, modules so we can use them. So now what should we do? Let's actually uh, use cookie parser first. So anytime the transactions between the client and the server happen, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to go through this one, the Morgan, which is our logger. The next thing we want it to do, because we want every transaction to be logged, the next thing we want uh, to do is actually parse every cookie as well. So let's use app.use and then cookie parser. So it's got to go through that middleware. That sets our request.cookies uh, variable. And now we can use app.use uh, uh, session. <clears throat> now session requires uh, about three different things. Uh, it used to only require a secret. Now uh, for deprecation it requires three different things. The first thing is um, a secret. So this basically uh, is a key code for what it's going to use on your cookies. So you can just use any string of text. Any string of text. Why not? Okay, the next thing is let's see save uninitialized and this is when you're saving those sessions to some kind of permanent storage like a database or something like that so you have persistent login even if your server goes down um, when it comes back up your your users will still be logged in um, so uh, if uh, save uninitialized is set to true any time uh, a session comes in and it's not uninitialized or it's uninitialized it will still save to the database or whatever same with the resave is basically saying that uh, even if nothing's changed uh, that to go ahead and save it again and since we're not too worried about performance or anything like that right now we're just gonna save everything so we can kinda see what's going on um, so those are the two things we'll use uh, it's very important. Um, it used to be that a session, a Express Session, uh, required Cookie Parser, but now it actually doesn't. In version, I believe, greater than 1.5, it doesn't require Cookie Parser to actually read uh, the cookies. It does it itself now. Um, but because uh, Cookie Parser saves that those cookies in request.cookies, I wanted to just show y'all uh, what it does. So you don't actually need Cookie Parser anymore, uh, but for this tutorial, we'll go ahead and use it. So let's uh, 
go ahead and see what is this is doing. We're going to do console.log and we're going to do request.cookies. And that will be our first thing we're going to log. Then uh, console.log. And then how about just some of this stuff here? And then console.log uh, request dot session. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that, and then we're gonna go ahead and run npm no, node server dot js. Our server is running. Let's go ahead and navigate to it. So here, we're first program. Okay, so let's go over what this is. Here is our cookie, the connect.sid. Um, the first part of this cookie, from here to here, this dot, is the session ID. So the second part here, from here to down here, is actually the signature used to sign the cookie for authentication to the uh, server. Let's the next part is a cookie uh, in the sessions. So it just basically uh, tells us about the cookies. So uh, when they expire, the original max age, like how long it was going to be set to expire, and whether or not it's secure or not. Uh, so basically that's it for uh, those two things. I just want to go really quick and say that uh, Express... Uh, Session is found on GitHub, so you can read some information about it here. It tells you about the API, uh, all the different options that you can use. Um, so here's our resave and save uninitialized that are now actually required. And of course, our secret that is required. So re I suggest that you read through that if you have any questions or need some more information. And Cookie Parser as well is found on GitHub, uh, express.js uh, slash cookie parser. And uh, it also has some information. It's very, it's very simple. Like I said, I've basically told you everything that it does. Uh, so on the next tutorial, we're going to do some new stuff. So uh, watch again, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.